So one of the other topics that we wanted to kind of bring into this discussion around love and compassion and conscious corporate culture um, was around kindness and how that links to our ability to be um, kind to ourselves and to give ourselves permission. And so one of the theories or one of the things that we'll talk about in, often in the leadership program is this idea that we're pretty hard on ourselves. So I don't know what you think about this, Donna, but how, how hard are most people in your experience as a faculty member, how difficult are people on themselves typically? People are very, very difficult. They often start the conversation on what, what didn't work, what did they do wrong, the mistakes they made. We don't have to start the conversation from the success we had this week or the success we've had even in this year, right? Yeah. In our last conversation, we were talking a little bit about derailment and when there's a problem and how we deal with that when there's a, when there's a failure. And one of the things that leaders can really benefit by is recognizing that when there's a failure, when someone's not doing well, um, or their performance is, they're struggling with performance, in most cases they know, and they're really hard on themselves. They don't actually need the leader to remind them. Mm -hmm. What they need the leader to do is help them recognize that they are being hard on themselves. And when they're hard on themselves, how's that impacting their brain and their ability to make really good discussion uh, decisions? And so this is the piece when we think in terms of managing the neurochemical environment and understanding that we have much better brain function when we are happy and we're producing these positive uh, hormones such as serotonin and oxytocin and how that opens up the learning centers in the brain, that when a person is really hard on themselves over and over and over again, they have a tendency to repeat or make more errors. Have you experienced that as well? Well, for, well, for sure, because when they're going into it, they're not doing um, top-down processing, right? They're thinking, they're coming from the spot of what, what's going to go wrong, what could go wrong. And so they're, the vision they have for themselves or the outcome they're even, the outcome that they're really focused on is not one of success or one of, one of, um, one of positivity, right? Yeah. So we just, we're not thinking, we're not thinking from top down. We're not thinking um, with collaboration and cooperation. We're not, we're not thinking from a spot of empathy for other people. It's all about like, we've got to protect ourselves and we have to have a plan C. Like, you know what? We have to have a plan. We have to have a plan C instead of having a really strong plan A. Oh, I, yeah, I totally agree. 